welcome to my channel i'm mark this is mark's mods and today we are going to be doing the battleship bismarck everybody so we have issue 17 of build the bismarck now we are now going to be putting in the circuit board for the bow section electrics and i'm really excited because it is electrics and it's something i love doing on these models now two videos are going to be released today issue 17 and issue 18 uh the reason for that is issue 17 like i said is the circuit board or the control board and issue 18 is actually going to be testing the electric so it makes perfect sense that we do the testing of the electrics after we've done the uh, the board but that testing electrics will be in a separate video as i like to have my videos separate for each stage or issue that we do just the way i like to do it so yeah this one should be interesting so with all that said let's get modeling Okay, here we are at over at the desk. What we need to do, we need to bring the Bismarck over. Here she is. And basically, we've got this uh, circuit board here, and we're just going to be placing the circuit board onto the housing for the anchor gears. Uh, once we've done that, we then need to screw it down, and we're going to be doing that with some MM screws. These are 2.3 times 6 millimeter screws. So. Don't think we've had these in the build so far. So we'll get this screwed down. Now it's just going to screw down in three points one here, one here, and one here. Move this slightly out of the way just so I can get this in. Not doing it too. Tight. Right, because that's starting to lift to the side, so I'll get the other side screw in. <laughs> I'm always cautious that we have detail underneath this uh, bow. I really honestly think we should have done the detail after we've done all the gubbins underneath really in my opinion right okay so that's now in place we've got to put one more screw in quite secured and then i'll just go around and double check that it's nice and tight on there because the last thing you need to be doing is that to come in loose. Right, that's nice and tight on there. Okay. Right, now I've taken all the uh, cable tidies off these cables so I can plug them in. Probably going to need my tweezers. Um, because these little white connections can be a bit of a troublesome time, should I say. Okay, so the first one we want to do is this one at the front here. We want to throw it under this hook. Okay, now if we just twist the ship around. It's asking us to put this into part two, which is the middle. Part. Right, that's in part two. Right, so we'll move on to the next wire. Okay, so the next wire is this wire here. This wants to be going in next to it in part three. Conscious that's not all the way in is now okay. So we've done that one. Next one we need to move on to is this. Uh, move it around because we keep moving it around in the pictures, and I'm not a picture person. Okay, so it wants this wire here that's coming out from.
from inside the gun it wants us to loop it underneath there with like a little foot not crack on the wire now this one is going into part six On it. okay that's in part six the next one we want is this one here this is going into oh let's have a look right first we need to put it underneath this hook thing do that come on I don't want to do what they should do. Okay, so we've got that one. That one's going into part eight. Do always double check what that your wires and connections are going in the right way around. Right, that's in place. Okay, and the last one is this way here. Again, we're going to hook it under that piece here. And the problem is, is there's a bit of a lift on the ends hold on there's a bit of a lip on the end of this just here and it's getting it past that that lip if uh oh this is my company get this under no <laughs> Right, this one is here is getting in the way. Right, I got it. I got it. It's a going in. Whether it likes it or not. I suppose it's nice that we've talked about the wire tidy. Right, and this is going into part seven. the larger part and it's just in the middle you know, Donald traveled across the desk oh, I've broken one of them things off again I'm sick and tired of it okay that's gone into part seven and the last thing we need to do is we've got a cable tidy and it wants us to cable tidy these two wires here together i'm going to do that now see i'm so conscious of breaking things off this Right, so I'm just looking at the picture, I want to get exactly how they got it, which is more or less just there, and then just snip off the excess, just use my screw cutters, just be careful you don't cut any wires when you do that, and then that is this issue complete. Now, this still wire is a bit of a mess, so I'll probably do a bit of wire training on this one. Um, but that is all the wires in for now. Now, hang on, that one's a bit wonky. There we go. Now, there are other parts on here because we've got a part four, we've got a part five, and we've got a part one. Now, I do believe the part one is for an LED light we're going to have on the front of this. 
and the other parts are obviously for power and control but we do get to test them in the next issue because in the next issue we get the little control um remote control on the wire whatever you want to call it uh, we get that in issue 18 which will be the next video from this that will be released today but that is this issue complete so yeah issue 17 is complete well that's it for that uh, issue issue uh, 17 so yeah that was quite enjoyable um it still gets me why they have not created a jig for the bismarck to go into so that you can happily work on the underside and you can work on the other side as well um i really that every week that bothers me the same it really does it really gets to me where you just you, you're dicing with the detail underneath and I, i'm having to keep gluing things on and uh, don't ask anyway anyway if you like the video please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future issues but as for always guys stay safe and bye for now <laughs>